So today we're going to talk about a book that is truly horrifying. Oh my. And Marshall's going to sip his coffee and listen to the tale that I'm going to tell you. Just sit right back and you hear a tale. A tale <laughs> of a dreadful trip. <sighs> okay. So this book is called Size Zero. It's by Abigail Mangan. It is the first, it's a debut novel. <laughs> like how he's trying to make light of this book. Okay, so yes, this is the first novel that she has written. First, I'm gonna tell you what it's about. Uh, so Size Zero takes place in the fashion industry. There is a monk who is kind of like almost the heir to a modeling casting dynasty because he grew up in this world of models I guess around New Yorkish yeah I think it was in New York um, his aunt very close friend of the family runs a fashion house he's not a monk yet he just is at the monastery he's about to take his vows but he has run away from that life he gets a call because his aunt has put on a fashion show. One of her models was taken and then given a suit of human skin to wear down the runway. So the reason why this is causing such a kerfuffle, besides the fact that it's human skin, which is the first thing that you're like, mm, his childhood friend, when he was growing up, disappeared around age 14. From what the autopsy is saying, it's her skin. But this is now like over a decade later and they're like, how is this her skin? So he leaves the monastery and comes back to this world that he left. All right, so if I didn't lose you at human skin, let me go a little bit further. This book, and I'm not gonna tell you the rest of it, because the way it was written was well written. I am not saying, and I, and I deeply apologize, I am not saying any of this because it is a badly written book. It is not, but I repeat, it is not badly written. The subject matter is truly uncomfortable. It is horrifying to read, especially if you are triggered by what happens to females, how females are objectified, how females are used, how, how, not just how the fashion industry views females on how they should look, but also a very much darker part of the industry. Before I go on, let me have your thoughts about what I was saying with this. The first thing that came to mind is that the whole human skin thing, it really happened. Um, it was grown in a lab in the real story, but there was a fashion show that was done with outfits made entirely of human skin leather. Um, again, it did not belong to an actual person mm -hmm. prior to being made into leather. Right. Um, however, I also know that I cannot read this book. Um, the very brief snippets that I have seen of Handmaiden's Tale made me enraged to the point that I just had to leave the room while somebody else watched. So I can't read this book. Yeah. Now, that being said, that means nothing for you. Nothing. Unless you're like me. And I will say that there were times where I was like, why am I still reading this? I need to put this down. I need to stop reading this book. But I could not. I actually kept going. Then after I read the book, um, and I'm not going to tell you exactly because it would semi-spoil it, but not really, because I think the ending is very twisty and even I didn't see it coming. There are some things in current events right now that kind of point to what is happening in this book. And at that point, I felt like I needed to read this book just to do its service to what is happening in our current society. Just in like women's rights and the Me Too movement, that's like barely scratching the surface yeah. of what I'm talking about. And in that case, I feel like it might be an important book to read if you can push yourself out there and say, yes, I, I am okay with learning more about this. 
but the way that it's written is not realistic, okay? So even though what happens in the book could be realistic and probably is realistic, the way that it's written is very, like, serious, but with a slight tongue-in-cheek trying to lighten the heaviness that is the subject matter. If that makes any sense whatsoever. It is at its core a thriller, a horror, a mystery book. It is the first in a series. I don't think I'm going to be reading the second one because I don't know if I can put myself through that, but this is definitely a genre that people like to read. So what you're saying is that it's kind of, it, it does have serious matter, but it realizes its genre and it plays that up to keep it from getting too dark. Right. Okay. Exactly. Um, but it does go there. It is very dark. It is very, very dark. Uh, so that is basically my review. I gave it three stars because of the fact that I was so uncomfortable about reading it. Uh, but, uh, that, I mean, again, I'm not, I'm not putting down the author, the writing, the, the actual story. I'm not putting that down at all. It is literally because to me, I could not. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's basically my review of Size Zero, but all the information will be down below if you feel like you should check out this book. Um, but until next time, stay zany. Bye.